What's going on everybody? Chase here from Rocky Mountain 8 FMC, and today we're going to talk to you about the Big Agnes lineup of sleeping bags that we offer and help you decide which one is best for you. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. So today we're gonna to show you the different Big Agnes sleeping bags that we offer. Sleeping bags are a pretty hot topic when it comes to camping off the bike when you're ADV riding, or maybe you're gonna do some exploring your UTV or ATV and you plan to camp. Having the right sleeping bag can make or break a ride, and we can tell you that from our own experience. You know, you don't wanna wake up in the middle of the night freezing your butt off, and on the flip side, you don't want to wake up and be sweating because you've got a bag that was too warm for the temperatures that you're going to be sleeping in. And there's actually a lot of things that you need to consider when you're looking at a sleeping bag. You know, do you want down? Do you want synthetic? What size are these going to compress to? What temperature rating bag do you want? And we're going to help, you know, we're going to use some of our experience to help answer some of those questions to help you decide which bag might be best for you. So I've got three bags up here on the table. I've got the Anvil Horns, which are, you have a 15 degree and a zero degree. These are both down bags. And then you have the Lost Dog, which is a zero degree bag, but this is synthetic. So we'll talk about down versus synthetic first. We'll talk about the weights, all that. And then we'll talk about the temperature ratings and hopefully help you decide which you know one's gonna be best for you. So let's start out with the Anvil Horns. So like I said, I've got the 15 degree bag right here to my right and this is a zero degree. So what's nice about a down bag, and these are both the 650 down fill, is that one, the warmth to weight ratio of down is incredible. You can get a lot of insulation out of a sleeping bag that's made of down that is a lot lighter and packs up a lot smaller. So that's especially important for ADV riding because you might not have that much space in your luggage. So for us, that's one of the big reasons that we use a down sleeping bag is they're just lighter, they can press more. The 15 degree bag when I weigh this is three pounds, two ounces. The zero degree is three pounds, five ounces. So it's a lightweight bag versus about four pounds, 15 ounces for a zero degree bag that's made from synthetic insulation. So that's what's nice about down. It compacts up, it packs up really small. And also we do sell a compression sleeve that if you put these, if you put it on these bags, they'll actually compress to almost about half the size that they are right now on the table. So that's what's great about down. It packs up super small, it's nice and lightweight. Now one of the cons to down is price point. A down bag is going to be more expensive. And if down insulation does get wet, it's not going to insulate nearly as well as a synthetic insulation would if it got wet. And if you do get a down sleeping bag pretty wet, they can take a pretty long time to dry out. So a couple things to keep in mind there. But the Anvil Horn bags is what we've been using on our adventure rides. We love these bags. And there's a couple unique features about these from Big Agnes that we like. So on the inside, you've got a baffle that goes across your chest to help trap in that, that air, keep that close to the body. But also there's a pillow barn inside, which is meant to help keep your pillow in place. So that's not sliding all over. And another feature about these that we love of is there is a sleeve on the bottom of these and we'll talk about sleeping pads here in just a few minutes but there's a sleeve on the bottom of these bags that your sleeping pad actually slides into so when you get inside your bag because the pad is already in there in that sleeve you don't have to worry about sliding off your sleeping pad during the night so if you toss and turn if you move a lot while you're sleeping that is going to come in handy because nothing's worse than when you're trying to fight all night just to stay on top of your sleeping pad so those are a couple of the features about the anvil horns that we really like and we'll talk about the temperature ratings here in just a moment moment. Now on the flip side, like I said, with a synthetic bag, this is a zero degree bag. And just to give you a kind of a size comparison, you can see that it is quite a bit bigger. So synthetic does not compress down nearly as small as a down bag would. And you can see, even if you had that compression sack on there, it's not going to get nearly as small. So if you are a space saver, that is something to keep in mind. What's nice about this synthetic insulation is price point. It's a lot less expensive for a synthetic bag and you're getting the same temperature rating. And also if synthetic insulation does get wet, it will still insulate better than down wood and it doesn't take as long to dry. So those are a couple of the pros to having a synthetic bag. So you just gotta keep that in mind. A lot bigger, it's gonna weigh more, not gonna compress as small. That's a synthetic bag. So now we gotta talk about though temperature ratings because this is really important. Every sleeping bag that you're gonna see is gonna have a temperature rating. So like I said, you've got a zero degree and you've got a 15 degree. And a lot of people just think that that temperature rating means that that's what temperature you can sleep at. That's not really the case. That is the lower limit of a sleeping bag. In other words, if you buy a zero degree sleeping bag and you're gonna go sleep in zero degree weather, it'll keep you alive at zero degrees, but it's not gonna give you a nice, comfortable, warm night's sleep. That's not, that is rarely the case. So from our experience, most of us here, we use a zero degree bag. Now, if you're a really warm sleeper, 
Maybe you want to go with a 15 degree bag, but from our experience, you know, in the mid to upper 20s and above is kind of the limit for a zero degree bag for us. Now it's going to be a little bit different depending on the rider. Like I said, if you sleep really warm, maybe you can sleep in colder temperatures than that. But if you sleep cold, then having a zero degree bag for those temps and you might want to throw on a couple extra, you know, base and mid layers while you're at it might be needed to get, stay warm and comfortable at those temperatures. But you know, if you're not going to be camping in temps that cold and you're just going to be doing some summer camping, whatever it might be, then maybe the 15 degree bag is going to be better. So really just add about 20, 25, maybe 30 degrees to whatever the temperature rating of the bag is. And that's just a kind of a safe bet as far as how warm and what, you know, what you're going to stay comfortable at while you're sleeping. Just remember this though, it's always easier to unzip your sleeping bag to let in some cool air and cool off during the night than it is to try and add warmth to a sleeping bag. And if you even bought a, say, a zero degree bag and you are camping in some warmer temperatures, hey, you can just unzip the thing completely and just rock it like a blanket. So there's a couple ways to go about that. So really, so look at what temperatures you're gonna be sleeping in, ask yourself, are you warm or a cold sleeper? And that'll kind of help you decide what degree bag might be best for you. Maybe you need to step up to even a 30 degree bag if it's gonna be really warm. Also remember too that there are different sizes available. If you're a tall person, you're a wide person, there's also the Diamond Park bag from Big Agnes, which is a down sleeping bag that's made for tall and wide people so just look at the dimensions on the product page to know what size you're going to need that being said let's talk about sleeping pads because a sleeping pad is another item that can make or break your sleeping bag and here's why i talked about that sleeve that's on the bottom of these sleeping bags and that goes for the lost dog as well these bags what's unique about them is that they don't have the insulation on the bottom of the bag and the reason that they do that is that they want you to rely on a sleeping pad for the insulation. So we carry a couple of the Big Agnes sleeping pads. This is the Q-Core Deluxe. And you're gonna see that every sleeping pad has an R value. And an R value is how well that pad insulates. The higher the R value, the more that pad's gonna insulate for you. So with this Q-Core Deluxe, this is gonna have a little over a four R value, I think 4.3. So if you're gonna be in those real cold temperatures, then you would want a pad like this that has a higher R value. There's also the Q-Core SLX, which is a little bit lighter, not quite as high of an R value. So again, just kind of look at what temperatures you're going to be sleeping in. And with these pads on the product page, you don't have to get the Big Agnes pads. What's, what's nice about these is that you know if you pick this up, it's going to fit in the sleeve of these bags. But on the product page, they do specify what size sleeping pad will fit into those sleeves. So just be sure that you get one that will fit. So in any case, just remember, with sleeping bags, kind of simple. Down, it's more expensive, but it compresses super small. It's a lot lighter than synthetic insulation. Synthetic bags, less expensive, but they are gonna be bigger and heavier, and it does dry a little bit faster. It insulates better if it does get wet. Those are a couple of the key features, and hopefully that'll kind of help you decide, you know, what bag might be best for you. Last thing I do wanna point out, nice little accessory that you can have is, this one from Big Agnes, this is the Pump House Ultra, and this is just to help you inflate your pad a little bit faster. So if you don't wanna to have to bite down on the valve and blow it up using your own air, you could buy one of these. It also doubles as a compression sack. If you wanna put other things inside here as well, so you get a couple of uses out of that. Now, if you have questions or comments about the sleeping bags that we just talked about today, or if you have some more useful information, you know, we would love to hear that. What bag do you have? You know, what's the temperature rating? What's the limit of the bag that you've been using? Are you comfortable in a zero degree bag at 20 degrees or even colder? What are some tips and things that you do to stay warmer in those temps or even cool off if you're gonna be in some pretty warm temperatures? That's just gonna help other people out there looking to pick up their next sleeping bag. All orders over 75 bucks ship free. To grab your bag today and some of the other items that we talked about, you can click on the link or head over to rockymountatvmc.com. If you like this video and you wanna see more great adventure content like this, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and stay up to date. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.